Hello everyone. I'm Zhou Huidan, current third year PhD student at Huazhong University of Science and Technology. Our paper focuses on how to implement an RDMA-based distributed hybrid memory pool. Here is the outline. Let's begin with the motivation. NVM promises high memory density, low cost per bit, and near zero standby power consumption. RDMA technologies are able to provide low latency remote memory accesses and have been widely utilized to improve networking performance in HPC. NVMe and RDMA offer the possibility to build distributed memory pooling systems. However, NVMe have low performance compared with DRAM. They are often utilized along with DRAM to form hybrid memory systems. There have been relatively few studies on how to utilize DRAM and NVMe efficiently in distributed shared hybrid memory systems. Also, it is unclear how to fully exploit high-performance RDMA hardware for DSHM systems. Here are our motivation one. The asynchronous feature of RDMA communication can potentially be used to improve RDMA write operations. Reliable connection guarantees the data persistency and consistency, but the data transfer latency is still on the critical path. A few people choose to forego the reliable connection to achieve high throughput of RDMA operations. Unreliable connection and unreliable datagram hide the network RTT by retaining locally. However, the UC and UD do not guarantee reliable data transform in heavily loaded DSM systems and may lead to significant performance issues. On signal, the RDMA write even does not need to wait for the work completed event, but it could quickly fill the QP and overload the server receive buffer since it can just keep sending work requests without being blocked. Here are our motivation too. DRAM buffering had been demonstrated to be effective in hybrid memory systems on a single machine, and we could extend this idea to DSHM. RDMA read operations are usually persistent in a synchronous mode, and this latency is mainly determined by network RTT and remote NVM read latency. Here are the challenges. First, traditional hot page migration and cache mechanism in single node environment are not equitable for RDMA-enabled DSHM systems. Second, the latency of RDMA write operation can be main bottleneck in critical paths of applications. Third, there is a must to guarantee data consistency for sharing distributed hybrid memory among multi applications. Ginga provides remote memory access based on CS mode. There is not a centralized metadata server. Each client maintains a list of remote servers locally. To guarantee that all data stored in DSHM pool are persistent, the distributed RAM buffer in Ginga is implemented like a write through cache. Genga chose an object-based DSM design to assess the remote shared PM directly. Genga provides a very simple API to use the memory pool through objects. These abstractions allows programmers to use remote memory with very simple APIs, and thus can significantly facilitate RDMA programming. As one side, RDMA operations are not pursued by remote server CPU and OS. It's hard to monitor data accesses at the server side. Genga can explore the symmetric of RDMA read operation to identify hot objects at the client side. Each Genga client determines hot objects individually, and then read count of this object and send to the server for selecting hot objects globally. We dynamically adjust the threshold of hot data according to the DRAM utilization and the benefit of DRAM caching. Genga selects hot data for eviction based on the data access recency and the frequency. The whole data caching is performed solely by Genga, without the involvement of client application. Programmers even do not have to know the hybrid of a remote memory pool. Generally, a typical RDMA write operation using reliable connection mode has to block application to wait for WC event, making the latency of network RTTs between the clients and the servers on the critical path of the application. We propose a novel RDMA write mode to remove the network RTT of RDMA write operation from critical paths of applications. We still rely on the RC mode to guarantee lossless data transforms and in order deliver of events, which achieve very low RDMA write latency like UC UD mode. To reduce the RDMA write latency observed by applications, we redesigned the RDMA write parameter to return a complete event of RDMA write operation to the application once the client NIC received the WR, so that the application can continue to execute immediately. Genga is a middleware, and it is very costly to implement concurrency control for remote memory access solely in Genga without enough application metrics. There still remain two challenges. First, our new RDMA write mode may affect concurrency control of shared objects. Second, the caching mechanism in Genga may lead a metadata in concurrency problem. In Genga, we leverage a server-side less assigned policy to mitigate the overhead of metadata synchronization. We dynamically adjust this through hell climbing algorithm according to the access frequency of objects. 
Gengar set a short less for hot object in NVM to fetch them to the DRAM buff earlier. In contrast, the Gengar set a long less for hot object in DRAM to avoid the exclusive less reassignment. Gengar also provides an application level API to support concurrency control for both data and metadata of shared objects. To run popular big data applications such as MapReduce in Gengar, we integrate Gengar with Fuse to implement a simple distributed file system over DSHM pool. The metadata of the object are stored in the client locally, while the data of the object is stored as a file block in the Gengar memory pool. In this way, legacy application can still use the existing file system interface while indirectly access the remote memory in Gengar. Here is the experiment setting. We use micro benchmark and public benchmark to test the Gengar, and compare with the state of the art systems. Gengar R and Gengar D can improve the throughput of this micro benchmark by up to 94% and 57% respectively. Totally, Gengar can improve application performance by up to 91%, 60% on average. Gengar R is better to write intensive workload, Gengar D is better to read intensive workload. In MapReduce, Gengar reduced the execution time by 64% and 56% on Terrigan and Word Count, and Gengar improved the read and write throughput by 51% and 60% compared with the state of art Octopus. In KV slots for all workloads, Gengar improves the application performance by 48% and 40% on average compared with Octopus and Hotpot. In graph processing, for very large dataset, Gengar improves the performance by 60% and 52% compared with the Octopus and the Hotpot. Finally, we make a conclusion of our works. Gengar allows application to access remote DRAM and NVM in a large and global memory space through a client server mode. We export this metric of RDMA primate at the client side to identify hot data in the server node and catch it in a small DRAM buffer. We also redesigned the RDMA communication poultry to reduce RDMA write latency. Experimental shows that Gengar can improve application performance by 40% to 70% compared with the other state-of-art DSHM systems. That's all for the introduction of Gengar. For more detailed information, please check our paper. I'll open source the first version of Gengar on GitHub. Thanks a lot for your attention. Any question, we welcome.